27, 28, 29, 30. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and I am very lucky to be able to get to try yet another beer in Treehouse's Curiosity series. This makes four in a row, and it's their Curiosity number 30. This one is a single IPA, unlike the previous three that we've looked at, and it's 7% ABV. They say they used classic American hops as well as some new American hops, and they say that it has notes of pineapple, pear, jackfruit, and juicy fruit gum. I've loved all three of the double IPAs I've had in this series so far, so really curious to get to try a single IPA in this series. Let's get into this one. Oh man, I mean the first thing that comes to my head is that it just smells like a treehouse beer. It smells like the aroma you get when you walk into the brewery. Like I'm just having flashbacks of walking into the brewery to get this beer and all the other beers I've ever gone to get. Definitely getting that juicy fruit gum character that they mention definitely a, a pineapple-y character just a nice blend of like tropical-y citrusy character definitely like a grapefruit note coming through i could definitely see the pear that they mentioned coming through and jackfruit i've never actually had a jackfruit before but i looked it up and they say that it's kind of similar to like a mango with peach and pear characteristics and i could definitely get like a peachy character coming through again i already mentioned the pear along with the pineapple character and just that tropical, juicy fruit gum-like character. Cannot wait to taste this thing. Cheers. <laughs> I'm convinced that Treehouse just doesn't do anything that isn't amazing. Getting all those characteristics they mention, a ton of that juicy fruit character. It's like liquefied beer juicy fruit incredible peach lots of pear like they mentioned too like a soft those pears that come in the cups lots of juicy pineapple in there too a little bit of a peachy mango character it has that classic treehouse yeasty tropical gum character just amplified by the juicy fruit gum character that you're getting in this one too Really nice soft pillowy mouthfeel. Definitely a nice body for a 7% ABV IPA. It's, it's medium to medium plus even. Super clean malt character in this one. Just like a nice cereal grain character. A little bit of breadiness. And you do get a little bit of a, a green chlorophyll, slightly bitter hop character on the back end. Yeah, it almost to me comes off as a little bit like eucalyptus or something like that. Just like a green chlorophyll slightly bitter hop character on the back end definitely getting some bitter citrus character in there too like a little bit of a bitter grapefruit note and on the back end almost a, a slight earthiness too going along with the other green hop characteristics finishes up pretty dry get the linger of some pithy citrus character some of that tropical juicy fruit gum like character as well as a little bit of that green bitter hop character For my final thoughts on Curiosity 30, this one is going to get an A plus for me. It's another fantastic entrant into the Curiosity series. If I have to nitpick, it's probably my least favorite so far, but there's some pretty darn stiff competition in the Curiosity series. It's a great single IPA, another amazing beer from Treehouse. I mean, it's just tropical gum and juicy fruit gum for days. So if you can get your hands on this one still by trading or whatever, it's absolutely worth a try. Have you guys tried Curiosity 30? Have you had any of the other recent Curiosity beers? Which one has been your favorite? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I can keep this streak going.